Can you talk about what we're looking at? What is this? Yes, so this is the main window of uh, MIDI Translator. It usually has three areas, the left area where you have the project and the presets, mm -hmm. uh, the center area where you have a list of translators, mm -hmm. and the right area, which is maybe you can call it the properties area, mm -hmm. um, where you can edit all the, um, the different parts that you want to edit. Yes. So uh, if I have enabled the project here, uh, which is now still an untitled project, I haven't saved it yet, mm -hmm. Um, at the right, I can now um, enter author info, select the default MIDI ports that I want to use in my project for MIDI in and MIDI out. Mm -hmm. um, it also has a MIDI router, so you can set up MIDI routing mm -hmm. uh, by just drawing lines. So that's the project scope. You can also, uh, yeah, for Mac users, you can also add uh, Apple Script okay. uh, snippets here. And then if you go back to the left, there's the, uh, in the presets area, mm -hmm. um, that's basically, you can think of it as a folder of translators. So every preset has a list of uh, different translators um, and you can add as many presets as you like. So if we go in the preset, I can select a translator mm -hmm. and that's the core functionality. Every translator um, allows you to set some general options like the name and to enable and disable it. Um, then the incoming action, that's um, what it takes as input. So the typical thing is a MIDI message. So you can select from a range of MIDI messages, um, basically all. And then the outgoing, again, there's a list of different actions that you can do in response.